Hi, this is Sean from Knob Admin, and uh, man, I'm really excited to show you this product that we have here. Uh, I'm going to give you some training on it. It's um, brand new as of March 2012. Um, it's called the Product Attribute Manager, and basically what this allows you to do is manage the Knob Commerce um, attributes that are defined for each variant. Now, if you've ever worked in not commerce and have um, attributes to define to each variant, you know basically that each attribute is tied to a specific variant and you have to repeat that attribute for every variant that you have. Now what we've done here is actually allowed you to create groups of attributes and then you drag and drop those to assign those to products and I'll show you that. Um, just a minute here so um, this is just going to save folks so much time um, if they're if they have attributes in their not commerce stores so I wanted to show you how it works basically um, it, this is in uh, 2.40 um, it will be a standalone product called the not admin attribute manager and it will also be in the premier edition so let's go ahead and see how it works basically you click on uh, product attribute manager in the products menu and you get a, uh, a a pane with basically two areas for grids over here you have the product list and you can select any product it, it does do wild cards as well as you can search by SKU, price, category, whatever this is all very standard this is the same interface as the edit, edit products has so here we're going to just do a wild card on A anything that has an A in it. So we see get products okay that's good and over here we have the attribute maintenance and this is basically where you define your attribute groups so um, if you have existing attributes already you can re you can basically create them and to do to, the way you do that is you go rebuild all and it's gonna say this will delete all groups and create new ones is that really you want to do so since this is the first time we're just gonna say okay and it went through and said okay I see we have a size attribute for you know this sample data we have processor for build your own computer and hard drive and OS and all that for build your own computer great let's go ahead and create our own custom group to do that you go up to this line the top line that says click to add and it knows that we already have a size attribute added and we're just going to call it my custom size sizes and we're going to have small medium large XL and XXL and with that we're also going to have a color group and we're going to call it my custom colors and it's going to be red white black blue okay so we'll put those down here great now let's start populating our attributes so we have um, five sizes we're, we're saying so let's just start adding them and basically when you get to to add it you just basically press enter and click up in here again the price and weight adjustment have to be numeric the pre-selected has to be true or false and all I'm doing is just adding the codes for the attributes right nothing magic here Oops my hands in the wrong place on the keyboard there and we're gonna go XL and let's say the XL we're gonna charge two dollars more and we're setting the display order and XXL say we're gonna charge five dollars more and it's a little bigger so it might weigh more and we're gonna say false 
set our display order there. Now we're going to have our colors, so let's go down and add those. We're going to have a red one. And since it's colored, you know, no price, no um, weight adjustment in our in our demo here. And again, all I'm doing is just adding my attributes in one place. And let's see, we have a blue one. You know what, let's say the blue is a pretty cool color, so let's say that's four. It's an upcharge of four. All right. So basically all I've done is just um, add my custom sizes, small through double XL, and four colors as groups. Now let's go ahead and add these to products. What I've done is I, I uploaded 500 products through um, the Excel um, interface through the load product from Excel um, and I just basically just gave it product one all the way down through 500 right so um, the SKUs I just called it SKU1 is I'm going to start up not commerce Okay, and while that's working, I'm going to apply these two custom attributes that we've defined to the first 100 products. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select product 1 all the way down through 100. I'm going to hold the shift. they're going to be highlighted and you have to drag one at a time so I'm going to drag my custom size over to there and I'm going to let go I'm just going to think about it basically what this is doing as it runs is automatically applying our size that we defined in our size group that we defined one time in one place to all the selected products and it's doing that it's following the the NOP commerce um, model the data model so when we look at our store it will have those attributes it'll be just fine it'll follow every NOP commerce data rule so we did the size now let's do the color select 1 through 100 again and whoop. okay you see what I did there I selected that and there's a checkbox up here that says show the products that use this attribute when selected I need to uncheck that because the color hasn't been defined to any products yet so let's go get our products 1 through 100 again Again, we click on the first one, hold our shift button down, select the last one we want, and now, just like we did with the size, drag and drop. Okay. So it came back, and now if we go look at product number one, we see SKU1, there's our attribute size, there's our attribute color. And just to prove that it worked, let's go down through 100. There's 100, size, and there it is for color. All right, now, the real test is gonna be how does it show up in the store? So let's do a search on product 100.
There it is, with a just generic image. Click it. There we see our small, medium, large, XL, double XL with the up charges, and our colors with the blue with the four dollar premium price. Right? Pretty cool. Now, the real fun of this though comes when we want to make a change. In Nop Commerce, you would have to go through every one of these products and let's say we're going to we're going to change our double XL to let's say eight dollars. You would have to go through every one of these products that that use this attribute or double double XL and change it. Now if basically you do you'd have to do that a hundred times. With this you're gonna do it in one place and the way you do that basically is you edit it and to edit you point to the cell you want you right click and you say edit you make that eight press enter and what NOP admin um, uh, attribute manager just did is go through and find all the products that use this size group and update that alright so now it doesn't this grid doesn't necessarily automatically update and reflect this right so we need to refresh and we're gonna go look at product one SKU one size there we go eight bucks right I changed it in one place and it took seconds and same thing for product 100 there it is and just for fun there it is every product that uses the size my custom size bam got updated so let's go look at it on the web and there it is okay so um, Anyway, let's talk about these little options up here. Let's check this, and if I check to show the products that use the attribute when selected, then basically whatever attribute I select, it's going to show me all the products that use that. So here, let's say um, the custom text, or the size, that's for the men's digit sneaker. You know, it's just going to show me the products that use that particular attribute. So here's the color, and remember we went through 1 through 100. It's just showing me the 1 through 100. Conversely, this is also pretty cool. If I want to see what attributes a specific product has, and I'm going to um, going to uncheck this and check this. Now if I do a search on product, there's our 1 through 100, right? Actually it's 1 through 500. And if I select like 316, we haven't defined any attributes for that, so it's not going to show anything over here. But if I select one, you know, 62, there you go. Okay? Now, if you remember we said um, let's let's do product 50. You know, there we can turn off the way that NOP admin searches through all the products. If we want to apply this change to only one product, we can do that. And the way we do that is say we uncheck this to say apply template changes to all products that use them. We're just going to make it. Um, for one. So we're going to go red. I'm sorry, we're going to go color. And we're going to make red seven. And now all I do is just drag this over. So now we have red as 7 and any other product that also uses the same color 
has not been updated because we unchecked this, remember? So if we have specific instances where um, you know you, you only want to apply it to one color or um, one product, then you can certainly do that. However, it kind of makes managing these products a little bit difficult because now we have you know we have um, a red as seven but we only have it for one product okay it only updated that one product and I want to see kind of what people think about that um, a better practice probably would have been to create another color attribute or color group um, and and just basically drag that to product 50 you know so you still have consistency between you know your normal color set and what the products 1 through 49 and 50 through 100 say versus this. You see how it's a little bit inconsistent? But, no worries, we're going to set it back. We're just going to select them again. And, whoop, I need to check that. So now it should be back to consistence, um, consistent uh, groups, and it is. Right? So, um, that's, that's a real fast primer on this. Uh, we also have a filter up here. If you want to see just a group that has size in it, you know, you can do that or color or show all so now a word about this um, delete all basically what that's going to do it's not going to delete the attributes that are defined on the products it's going to delete the groups okay so um, I'm going to cancel out of this and that's basically what this message is telling you. You're just going to delete the groups. If you do that by accident, you need to do it, rebuild all. Um, so, um, if you get stuck on this, you know, certainly feel free to email um, support at nopadmin.com or you can certainly Skype me at nopadmin and uh, I'll be glad to walk you through it. I've been, you know, helping people um, with uh, TeamViewer and remote desktop and it works really well so um, certainly if you get stuck um, you know feel free to to Skype me or whatever so I hope you enjoyed this um, this is just uh, going to save folks so much time I mean if you do the math and you figure out that basically I have to have an attribute defined for every single product just in the scenario we did we took products 1 through 100, so we had 100 products, and we have 5 sizes and 4 colors. That's a total of 9 per, per product. That would have been 900 entries or 900 lines. Even if we imported these through, through Excel, that would have been 900 lines in Excel just to add the attributes to these products. With this, we did it in minutes. So um, anyway, that concludes this video. By all means, support is always free, so email me support at nopadmin.com or look me up on Skype at nopadmin. I'm usually online, so um, look forward to your feedback, and uh, I really hope you get a lot of use out of this. Thanks.